Good evening, 21CQ, back again. So there's another quick announcement for new retrievers at Lance HA1 UV 2 and 70 SEMS radio. It's not quite out here in the UK, but it's available in the States. I believe I saw a post, here it is, in stock on February the 10th. So it's only just round the corner. What did it actually do? I'm a little bit disappointed in one respect for me personally, is the fact that all the other radios coming out of China at the moment Happen to have um, GPS. Uh, there's no indication on this particular model whether it has GPS. Um, also, um, aviation frequencies. Um, some of them, some of them, you can actually uh, pick up uh, PMR and GMRS um, frequencies. That's the equivalent, I believe, in the states as our PMR. But this is just a straight 2 and 70 transceiver. So it's a little bit disappointing that they, they're not following the, the, the rest of the, the, the uh, guys producing the other radios. That uh, has got some, some quirky features. Um, but um, all on their own. They, they, they produce the radios they want to do. Let's have a look at it. Obviously it's IP67 waterproof. 2800 milliamp an hour battery highly customizable not too sure what that entails at the particular moment i do understand that this has um a dual ptt so one for the a band and one for the sub band i understand or b band let's have a look yes uh, so, um two meters and 70 sims one of those keys underneath the PTT in uh, what can only be either a green or a yellow I think is one of the PTTs for the subband so obviously waterproof one meter I don't try that myself just in case you never know the battery 2800 milliamp an hour battery 1.7 inch uh, screen they still tend to go for what I've actually noticed it's the same on my HD1 obviously and, and the HD2 they'd also do the GMRS radio equivalent to, to, to this also I understand you can unlock that one for the handbands but for the moment that's GMRS they've gone for the same type of color screen and I'm not totally convinced that actually works anymore. Um, we cast your mind back to the Bofang UV17 Pro GPS that has a, uh, a black background with a colour screen. Maybe a, a little bit of red, maybe a little bit of white and so on. I think that looks a little bit better on the radio than this. That's, that's my only personal thing on on this radio let's have a look usual vfo mode and memory mode firmware upgrades sub ptt function i was right it was one of those and also it has it does actually have as a key lock function and three modes by key lock channel knob block and side key lock a few added features on there and apparently it has 10 levels of brightness which is adjustable different variations in different sunlights and obviously we're not home in the in the radio shack and convenience for inputting needed numbers that light lighting on the keypad all difference there emergency alarm battery alert low battery alert 
the usual CTCSS tones and obviously the standard package there when it becomes available. Let's have a look at the specifications briefly. It's the HA1UV, 256 memory channels, 2800 milliamp battery, Type C charging and a desktop charger, depending on what you prefer. Waterproof level is IP67, 1.77 inch display, working voltage 7.4 volts, and that's the TX and RX frequencies. And that, this is probably for the states, which is probably very similar to what we've got over here. Uh, anyway, but um, there is no PMR on the RX. It's no air band, but FM radio. And that's the functions. As you can see there, there's no reviews from anybody else at the moment. Trying to come up without making too much noise on the screen. Let's go main to the main photo I'm going to use for this. That's it. It's a quite nice looking radio. I am actually well impressed for their DMR radios, the HD1 and the HD2. It was one of probably one of the easiest DMR radios I actually programmed um, is the HD1, which I was actually very impressed. My, my, my start into DMR radio didn't exactly start off too well, but it's A-OK -okay now. Anyway, the Retrievers Alliance HA1UV and Radio HT, soon to be new in the UK. Not too sure when it's made available. Presuming after the Chinese New Year, which has, I think is actually over. So uh, I think uh, it should be out soon. Not too sure where from at the moment. But uh, check out further announcements. Thank you for watching my videos. Much appreciated. Please like and subscribe. 2E1CEQ. Catch you later. 73s.